Dad and a panda running down the hall. But where is the obligatory girl? I kind of expected her to just show up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nope. Why do we take and be the obligatory girl? Why don't, look like he has lipstick. Why don't we do look pretty in a dress? Anyway, what's up, YouTube? This is Arlio She's Usual. I'm Rhino. Who are you then? Oh, yes. <laughs> also, yeah, I'm Max. Uh, how many people do you think have done that one? No reaction, or? Oh, did you actually type it in? I was giving you a moment. It went down. <laughs> I was debating between that and computer crash. That or blue screen, but. It's either that or your band. <laughs> well, Jero did have his whole bat hammer thing. Yeah. We could go with Waluigi Windmill. <laughs> <laughs> Jero isn't lead. <laughs> That's why I don't think I'll do it. Internet, internet down. I think that that works. Internet down. No, I'll just call. It, I'll call it internet crash because then it, then it's a double meaning. Should I have the exclamation point there? Point there. Yeah, that's fine. It's it does it doesn't like put a second one, does it? If it does, it just makes it more extreme when they say it. All right. All right, it's a double meaning now, because not only is it internet crashing, which is something stupid that happens with us, but also crash can refer to attacking them. Yep. Hey, Tim salutes us. Oh. And, then he stre and then he stretches, and then he runs away. All right, let's record the episode. He looks very athletic for the tacky. All right, should we do barrel and roll next? Yeah, I think so. This boss is monster it like, is a bitch. Is it, like, difficult? No, the boss monster is just a bitch to do a finishing move on, and you will see exactly why. Okay. Yashko has an argument with a stunt actor who does not want to use a proper costume, but they have to record the episode anyway. So, is the show about the show being made, or... I'm confused! Uh... Because, like, is that the description of the episode? I think that's, like, the description just for us, the player. Oh! Okay. Okay, then. Alright, we're ready to do this, then? Yep. You think you have to do a lot of editing? Imagine how much editing these guys have to do with how much they, like, casually talk to each other during an episode. Yeah! <laughs> uh, why are you wearing a barrel instead of your costume, mister? You can voice him. I am a high-value stunt actor, and your city costumes are beneath me. Wait, what? We have a contract for this episode! So get back to that dressing room and wear whatever costume is in there! We'll even let you use the teleport effect as long as you're properly dressed. We'll move to the set and start recording while you change. Aye aye. Tippy 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 tippy. Alright, let's move now. Let's run through each other. Away! Panda! Away! Why do we have all these cameras and stuff set up if we're not even recording there? You never know. We have cameras hey, did, everywhere, Yash. Hey, did you see a boxer, uh, a Bruce Lee guy, a panda, and then an obligatory girl and another guy just run into this public park? No. Patience is a virtue, isn't it? A few moments later. Still not in proper costume? We can't record like that, my friend. This is my costume. I'm the Barrel Man, and I'm going to roll all over you. Whoop, 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 whoop. Behold the third class of enemy, Yosh. The Ranger. Okay, Otherwise, that's enough. Third man. You're going to roll back where you came from. Just a roll over us, boss. So we have to defeat him with a finishing move, and we have to attack the boss monster with me three times. Yes. We can synchronize as early as we want, it seems. Yes. I was just waiting until you need to heal. Alright. So, I think I'll start by taking this guy out with me. Just to let you know, the boss can move a good bit. So, he'll probably come to you. Yeah, that's why I was thinking that. I had a feeling it would be something like that. And those rangers will move away when you get close. 
so you might need team acrobatics to take those bitches out. Of course, we have guns and stuff now, so once we're synchronized, we can just shoot the bastards. Actually, I will put him here and get him ready for a team throw. Oh, it's, it's that time, is it? Holy shit! Look at that! I'm debating who to attack! Uh, <laughs> Literally anyone! You can go ahead and get an attack in on the boss with your lead. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. Because he can still throw other people after. Punch, punch, pa punch, punch, punch. The lead. <laughs> I suggest getting the Rangers. Red Crumbler. Now, you probably aren't going to finish him off with just Jero. So maybe toss him next to them and then have someone else join him for a team attack. Alright, can I get Tim there? No, Tim will not be able to get there. What about you? Yeah, you can get there. Healing Rhino, away! <laughs> Pink Pants Man, away! Nerf, please. PUNCH! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Tim! Yep. Tim has a gun, right? Yeah, Tim has a gun, but he can't use it until he synchronizes. Ah. So you can, like, position him next to the squirrel, if you want, or something. There will be some turns where you just don't have much to do. It's just a fact. And remember, when you synchronize, Whee! everyone will regroup, so it's a good way to recall them if they're getting too spread. Punch. Punch. Run away. Shoot. Ow! <laughs> Barrel. Barrel. That didn't actually hurt me. Yeah, it did. It did? Get your health. Oh, I thought I just took damage from being hit. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's take out some squirrels. Okay. One for uh, Jero. <laughs> should that be what Rhino and Jero do? Uh, or Rhino and, Rhino and Dan take take out this one. Jero and I each take out a squirrel right here, and then I don't know. weakened one. <laughs> or I could have Jero throw me again at, at Barrel Man. You can do that if you want. It depends on how confident you are in being able to take out some of the guys. And actually, I think. Hmm. I'm trying to think if Tim would be able to get to that squirrel that's next to Jero and just team attack him with it, so Jero can still get a kill in. If I position Jero at, at the right place, then yes, I, I can probably do that. Uh, oh yeah, see, Tim yeah. can get to it now, so if Jero stays where he is, you can just do all that. Or I could just have Jero even just move one space down for it. True. But... Teamwork. Alright, for now though, you and Dan are going to take this guy out. <laughs> Die, Bam! squad. Barrel man. Wee! Punch, 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 it, punch. I can finish him now, but I'm not going to yet. Instead, let's go, Tim. Tim and Jero, why me? Bam! Emony's turn. Probably synchronize his next turn because Tim's getting a little weak. Barrel roll. Oh, there we go. See, it didn't do that before we went through. It did. You were just at the very top of the screen, so you couldn't tell. So, should I synchronize now? Or should I maybe throw me, do that third hit, and then synchronize? Or something. Ooh, that'd probably work. Alright. Uh, I'll just have Jiro stay where he is, because then he and Tim could even take that guy out. And, and then I can synchronize. synchronize. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then, yeah. So, you're, you're gonna get strategic. <laughs> Stand together, both force! Panda Punch! Double attack! Or the... whatever. <laughs> no, that's what they said. I know, I, I'm saying it because, like, you're supposed to be voicing Karen, but... Alright, uh... Synchronize. I'll have Dan attack this squirrel first, because he's in range. And now you're going to be... Am I able to move and then synchronize? Yes. Then I should I move down here so that we're more in the middle afterwards? If you want, yeah. Yeah, even though it... Yeah, because I don't want us to be too far away from... Actually, that might it might be good to be a little far away and let them come to us. That's probably a better idea, yeah. So I'll, I will move, but not that close. I'll move, like, right here. 
If I think if you do that, the barrel guy should actually stop when he hits the bike racks too, which will enable him for a finisher move if you want to just end it. You didn't say your line, damn it! Completely forgot what the line was. Let's get goofy. I think just right. teamwork and end it. There's no real point in doing much else. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you healed us. For yeah, I heal when I teamwork. Barrel! Barrel! Oh, he went past it. Him and his clever angles. Alright, so technically at this point, you could lasso him in and just finish the guy. But let's beat these guys up first. Agreed. Get him, Jiro. <laughs> I have a better idea. We can use Jiro to get him, first? and then we can just shoot the others. Or, we, or you could do that. You're really loving this Jero can throw people shit, huh? <laughs> yeah! Alright, so I will have me take this guy out, and then I'll have someone else help take out the squirrel. Alright. Or actually, hang on. Let's see. Uh, you have 90 health. You can always use one of their sword moves to make sure you take the thing out. I can just land beside it, then use a the sword? Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because I, I should keep myself maybe near the, near the whole group instead of putting me out far away. Yeah. So probably uh, use uh, Dan just because he can get back, because he's gonna need to get back for the team attack. Okay then, so I'll put him like, yeah. All right, let's do it. We. I can even do this as a free action in case this doesn't kill him, but I'm pretty sure it will kill him. So yeah, pretty sure that'll kill him. Shink. Bam! Entire freaking tree. All right, now I will use you to help uh, to help f kill this guy. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, that's fine. Double attack, punch. All right, now I have a feeling I know where the guy's going to end up. So I think if you move Dan, just not in you line mean, with mean, us three, it'll be you fine. You mean Tim? You mean me or Tim? Or Tim, something? that's who I meant. Sorry, I'm used. To, I, so I mean, I kept thinking of Dan. I think because right, you so tried to put him as orange at one point. Like right down here, maybe? Yeah, I think that'll do. Because I'm pretty sure that barrel guy is going to roll through you, me, and Jero. Well, I can still move me. You might get out of the way, then. Alright. All this teamwork here, I guess. Yeah, it's a good way to just kind of use up your turn. I'll put myself here. Remember, so that you way... can't move that far. But I think right there would probably be a good place. Because you just basically need to lasso him in, and then we can finish him off. Yeah. Because you can lasso farther than you can move. Holy shit, he has some range. Hmm. I think I can't you might be able I to can... move and then lasso him. Yes, he moved just beyond, uh... Damn. Right here? Here, maybe? Actually, wait. How far is your diagonal directly to the left lasso? Oh, it's only two squares. Wouldn't be able to reach him. Okay, yeah, I think you gotta move beyond Dan and then get him. So here? Yeah. It's gonna be a little tricky, but I think you can do it. Lasso. Eagle Lasso! Over here! And teamwork. And what's nice is that even though Jero can't move far because you're teamworking, he can use you to jump there, and you're still in teamwork mode. Ah. We Teamwork. Oh, I expected this. Tim. Tim, come on now. <laughs> oh, Rhino, come on now. Okay. <laughs> if you can at least get me close, I can get a heal on Jiro. We can try to set this up again. Now, okay. remember, you don't have to finish him off with a finishing move, but it would give us a lot of points. So if you're if you work it right, you may be able to tempt him into running into that bench or something. Cause that's all. This is why I I'm said pretty sure he's gonna go to the right or something. Unless I were to like move every. I don't know. Maybe if you line them up to where he would run into those uh like mailbox things over there. That's the thing about this boss. He has a lot of range, but he will stop if he hits something, and that's what's annoying about him. Cause if he does it, you saw he just keeps going. Should I just have like two guys in front of the bench or something? I think so. Yeah. They sort of tempt him into hitting that. All right, Dan and Tim are going to be the sacrifices, and I'll move you in close afterwards as a see if that helps. Yeah, you can move me in, and I can get it. I can give a heal to the people who need it, which at this point is mostly myself. 
and Jiro. And I can heal myself. I'm actually going to move you down, like, maybe... Would it help if I moved you, like, in front of the bench or something? Because I feel like if I have you stop here where you currently are, then he's just going to go at an angle. Yeah, I think move me... I think move me one more. What, one more. Right here? Uh, two oh, down like, right, right, right there. Because that'll get him in at a weird angle. And he or he'll just do here. that! <laughs> well, I can heal Jero, and we can just all stay where we are, and he can come to us. So just have Jero move closer. Oh, okay. Come to the safety bench, Jero. Yeah, I think move right. What's now. going on? <laughs> Heal Dukin. Oh. <laughs> and have the rest of us just teamwork or something? Yeah, just something. You can move closer if you want, just so he doesn't go that way. Come to us, Barrel Man. God damn him in his range. Trust me, this was just as annoying as this whenever I first did it. Okay, now I think hide everyone behind the bench. Like this, basically? Yeah, like that. But not all lined up in a straight line, like next to each other. There we go, yeah, like that. So. Now I'll put you, like, right here, maybe? Uh, I think between you and Jiro. And teamwork, 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 teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> and what's nice is me teamworking healed you all a little bit. Yeah. Come at us, bro. Whoosh! Get him! Oh, wait, I, I'm not sure we can get him now. Maybe if, on. Can you lasso? Oh! Oh, if Jero can make it. Jero can get there. If Jero can get there, Jero can toss everyone else, right? Yeah. Do it. We got you, Dan. <laughs> Dan can just straight up move here, so. Yeah, just do that. <laughs> Aha! We ya! Hiya! Hiya! Finish him. Do it. Do it. Internet crash. Do, 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 do. Better. To, any, to anyone whose YouTube video started buffering at that point, good. You really got the immersion. <laughs> we did it. Now that's an explosion. We did it. At least we got max audience. Whoa, I won't spoil, but you should definitely watch the latest hashtag Boo Force episode. Boo Force is pretty great. Hey, you, watch Boo Force. My kids are going crazy over this hero show, shouting, Let's get Boofy! <laughs> 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 I totally should have made that something like, Fuck me! <laughs> uh. Woo. Oh, we got a lot of emails. Oh, boy. Uh, an old friend from Dr. Soap. How are you doing, my old friends? We all know that I'm the only reason why your new show is so is any good. I know that our last moments weren't so great and we were in a bad situation because of the ideas you have stolen from me. Let's get straight to the deal. You have a few options here. One, I see you in court. Or two, you pay me tributes for my ideas. Or three, I'll be your new director. I hope you understand the situation. Everything will be all right. All right. Now, this is actually an important email because it affects some of the episodes you'll be getting in season two. Okay. So, Dr. Soap is that director from the tutorial. Yeah. So, how will you respond to him? Okay, flip off is not an option. <laughs> we'll see you in court is probably our closest one to that. Like, it, what, okay. Is it a good idea to choose we'll see you in court? It is completely up to you, and all it is is that you'll get different episode options. Is that literally the only thing that ever changes? Yes, but like having an entirely ep different episode is a fairly big deal. I know, but I mean, like, it's not like I choose we'll see you in court, and like right before season two, I suddenly have to pay a lot of money or something. No, no, no. 
So should I choose that then? I think so. You, that was your instinctual one. So let's give him the metaphorical middle finger. We'll see you in court. I would advise you differently, but the worst vice is advice. Good luck to all of you, and lawyers of the devil's ministry. Having fun, kids? From Fernand G. What a forgetful uncle you have, Tim! We haven't talked since the studio's opening. How are things at my warehouse? I hope you all have all the space you need. I told Joe to go fix that leak in the bathroom next Friday. Oh, and make sure to feed that cute little cat that lives around the place. Oh yeah, we've been, been seeing that. <laughs> She's been there since I brought in the Cerebro device last summer. Probably stung in the blocks or something like that. Cats are always nice to have around. I hope the little fellow inspires you to create new things. Marketing from Ronaldo Sampaio. Alright, welcome to the other aspect of the studio. Marketing. Greetings, representative of Yashko. My name is Ronaldo Sampaio. I'm the manager at Mad Folks, marketing agency, LLC. We loved your first episodes and we're willing to work for you, making your show reach more and more people around the world. This is how our agency works. You pay us a fixed weekly cost and we work converting the audience of your episodes into fans and income. We grind them up in machines and stuff. We guarantee you a 15% increase in your audience on every episode. Do we have a deal? It's free for the first week. It's free marketing. I suggest you take it for the first week. After that, we'll now have the option to choose our different marketing ones, which each have different pros and cons, which I will talk about once we fit, film the next episode and we actually get the ability to choose. All right, so I could probably... I'll just choose yes, please. For the right free now. marketing. Yes, please. Glad to do business with you. I'm sure you'll love our services and will enjoy your new audience levels. Keep on recording. You actually have access to the marketing tab now. Yay! Now this is what Bad it folks. does. You can see this passively, this particular company gives us 50% audience per episode, and our fan power allows us to choose a certain amount of these little bonus things down here. Hmm. Uh, income conversion rate is generally just the more audience you have and the higher your income conversion rate, the more money your audience is converted to. 10% uh, audience per episode is fairly explanatory. It adds on to the 15%. 100 episode starting audience, fairly self-explanatory. 18 fans per episode, also self-explanatory. There's also an uh, amount called fan conversion rate. It's what it sounds like. And I find that to generally be worth it more in the long run than set number of fans per episode plus. Okay, so what sh should I take any of this? or If you can take some of it, take what you can. Just decide what's good for you. Uh, judging by this, I would honestly suggest probably income conversion rate. Alright. Take it then? I think so. You can always unclick it. Alright, can't take anything else for the time being, but yeah. alright. You don't have that much fan power. But hey, you got something now. Alright. Well, I think that's getting in the episode unless there's anything else to do. No, nope, that was pretty much it. Unless you want to, like, make helmets or something now that we have some plastic and tape. Let's see about that. Uh, I need to make tape, and I can only make one helmet, but... Actually, we can make another piece of plastic if you want to make a second helmet. Oh, alright. I think judging by the secondary style in the helmet, we'll know who to give it to. That's generally the best way to tell. Alright, uh... So, craft two of these, then? Yep. Be Ding! It has plus 24 health. Probably you. Unless you think right. anyone else is too squishy. I mean, I think Jero, honestly, has been taking a lot of hits, too. You can go ahead and give it to him, then, if you want. Yeah, I'll give it to Jero. He's too squishy for assault, is the thing. Fair enough. We just don't have that many uh, equipment at that at the moment. Counter. Counter. That... Now, who has uh... the most counter? Because you would theoretically give it to them, and generally that will be your scout. You're currently 15%, he's 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, everybody's 15%. Uh, I think generally give it to your scout, because he will be kind of out there. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Uh, clip it to Dan, then. Alright. Alright. Uh, Alright, that ends that. Yep. And that actually does change their appearance on screen. Uh, in their costume. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well that's gonna end that episode. So... Uh, we're apparently going to go to court soon. Yay! Truly, this is running a studio. I've been Max. I'm Rhino. And that's Dan. Straightens glasses. <laughs> Timed that perfectly. Hey, there's Hey, your... it's me! Other glasses Hey, Dan, guy. what's up? Glasses bros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! You know, your panda has more nipples than the rest of the crew, despite the fact that we also have a girl.
panda nipples. That's uh, that's our new transformation cry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to save. <laughs>